everyone welcome to tutorials point in this video we will learn about biomolecules the learning objectives will be to understand that there are chemicals present in cell which form the biomolecules to understand what are biomolecules and to name the organic and the inorganic components which form the biomolecules now first cell all of us know the cell is the structural and functional unit of life. So all the living organisms are made up of cell. The cell has two major functional regions as we can see in the figure. The cell membrane which forms a protective barrier around the cell and helps in transport of substance in and out of the cell. And the next is protoplasm. The protoplasm is the living component of the cell. It is all the chemicals which are present inside the cell, including the cytoplasm and the nucleus. Now, the sum total or the collection of all the chemicals or the biomolecules present inside the cell is known as cellular pool. So, when we talk about cellular pool, we mean that we are talking about all the chemicals which are present inside the cell. Now, in terms of cell, it can give in another term which is hyloplasm. So, when all the organelles are removed from the cell, the inclusions are removed from the cell, the ground substance that we obtain is known as hyloplasm. Now, imagine we have poured this cell hyloplasm into a container. Following is the result that we obtain. First, we obtain a 70% of water and 30% of chemicals. So this portion is cellular pool. Now when this cellular pool was further analyzed, it was found out that it contains small ions and molecules along with big large size molecules which were phospholipids, DNA, RNA, proteins and polysaccharides. Now all these big size molecules, they were known as macromolecules and the small size molecules they were known as micromolecules now this cellular pool which we studied can also be called as a crystallo colloidal system crystallo means responsible for the water soluble nature so the small size molecules get dissolved in the water and so are responsible for crystalline nature of the cellular pool and colloidal Colloidal means water insoluble. So the big size substances, they are not soluble in water and hence responsible for colloidal nature. So now we are in a stage to define biomolecules. So what are biomolecules? They are small as well as large, big as well as small, organic as well as inorganic substances present inside the cell and which are responsible for different functions of the cell. Now, the organic components that we are talking about are the carbohydrates, proteins, fats, nucleic acids and their derivatives. And the inorganic components that we are talking about, what are they? They are the mineral ions and the water. Now, these inorganic components can be further classified into three types. The major elements, the trace elements and the ultra trace elements. Now major elements, as the word suggests, major means they form around 98% weight of the protoplasm. So what are they? The, ca the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, all of them are major elements. Then the trace elements, do not confuse with the word trace. The word trace means that they are required but in lesser amount, that is around 2%. These chemicals are? calcium, magnesium, potassium, then ultra trace. Again, ultra trace are also very, very important, but in very, very less amount. That is some 0.001%. Next, when it was studied that Earth's crust and human body, both of them were chemically analyzed, it was found that the elements were almost similar, as you can see in the table. But what varied was the relative abundance in both. So, we can clearly see that carbon here is 18.5%, but in Earth's crust, it is around 0.03%. Similarly, 
see silicon silicon in the human body is negligible but in earth's crust around 27.7 percent let us have a look at nitrogen in human body nitrogen is very important so it is 3.3 percent but in earth's crust it is very little so to summarize we can say that biomolecules are the chemical components which are present in the cell and responsible for its functions these biomolecules together are known as cellular pool so this cellular pool is responsible for the crystallocolloidal nature of the cell and it contains both organic as well as inorganic components and the relative abundance of these elements varies in earth's crust and human body but they are almost similar thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning